next on Truth Trackers. Truth Trackers heads to Glen Park Canyon in San Francisco in search of the ghost Chihuahua. This artist's rendition depicts consistent reports. Red glowing eyes, large teeth, powerful. Powerful enough to take on coyotes, cats, dogs, and people. 10 people alone in the last year missing with the ghost Chihuahua as the main suspect. I'm John Gates, explorer, truth seeker. Join me and my team as we examine controversial old wives tales and urban legends. Every truth leaves a trail. We are the truth trackers. Leaving our headquarters in Oakland, we fly out at Oakland International Airport, arriving at San Francisco Airport the next day. I wanted to talk to some locals, which proved to be no easy task. I'm here to talk to you about the ghost Chihuahua. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, hey, sir, do you want to talk to me about the ghost Chihuahua of San Francisco? Luckily, a man named Dan agreed to be interviewed. This dog, with his dog senses, this is as far as I can get him. In fact, I had to drag him here today. There's something down there, John. I don't know what it is, but I can tell you right now, we don't want to know what it is. There was a woman in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. uh, Betsy is all we knew her by, a wonderful older woman. Uh, Asian gal lived just up here. She had uh, a dog that she would walk with here. Mm -hmm. We have not seen them in quite some time. Wow. She has not moved. They used to come down here. People warned her. We have not seen either of them. And my associate here, Ginger Garcia, is Hello. an animal psychic. May I touch your dog? Please. Yes, Buddy is afraid. He's very, very afraid. He can just sense that they're down there. And yes, he, th he does. He knows. It's okay, Buddy. You're a good dog. Give me five. Yeah. We then spoke with our guide, Dan Cook, resident expert in all things ghost chihuahua. This land this belongs to every- Wait, wait a second. Wait, I, I have... Excuse me, you need to leave. You need to leave, you guys. It's sacred ground. You don't understand. Where can I get one of those t-shirts? Did you see that? I saw a white- Can it... Can you uh, zoom in down? Oh, okay, forget it's gone. You're never gonna see them looking straight at them. After getting the lay of the land and avoiding the welcoming committee, we set out for the first of three stops, the churro tree. Hiking to the churro tree, I kept thinking of Ginger Garcia's interview of Buddy the Dog. What was he afraid of? And how did Ginger know his name? Oh my God. You hear about this, but you never think you're ever gonna see one. My God, oh, the churro tree. This is amazing. Oh my God. I am a tracker of animals, and it looks to me like something was just nibbling on this Hold on a second. Hold. Oh, I, I sense I'm the thinking, energy. I'm thinking like a half an hour ago. That thing could be out here right now. It's over here. It's over here. Oh, false alarm. Sorry. The energy. This is their sacred bush, isn't it? It absolutely is. And that's why this area is a national park. This is the only one left. Don't eat them when they're not perfectly ripe. If they're immature, the sugars are like psychoactive. And you could find yourself in hospital. Psychoactive? If these aren't perfectly ripe, you'll find yourself in hospital seeing more than ghost chihuahuas. This is so fresh. You've seen Jesus. Let me see. Oh my lord. <laughs> You're right. They're very sugary. Is that how you eat a churro? I think so. Next, we went where few have gone the Kola River. This is indeed the Kola River, the largest source of natural sugars in this entire valley community. I could feasibly this canteen in there, take it out, and drink cola. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Oh man, it's cold. Sticky. It smells good. Mm. It's real cola. You can understand why they want to be in this canyon. The churro tree, the Coca-Cola River. It's amazing. I don't know. All right, I'll try it. Nothing psychoactive in this, right? No, no, it's liquid okay. gold. That's what the early said. <laughs> I love liquid it. gold. Yeah. You thought they came here to mine gold? It's not true at all. Okay, oh, I'll, I'll try it. It's good. Oh my god. Let me see. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, that's Coca-Cola. Our last stop, the Jenny Craig. I couldn't help but wonder what kind of animal lived off humans, animals, cola, and churro. I'd like to get Ginger Garcia in the mix. Oh my god. You can see in tunnels underneath these rocks. They burrow underneath and this is where they live. I can see ever so faintly there's an etching. Okay, John, now what you're looking at here is an ancient petroglyph. This looks like the outline of, a, of an animal, maybe with, with pointy, I'm seeing pointy ears. This looks like a hill. This looks like a bush. 
And this kind of looks like a river. It's an excellent analysis, John. You've actually got to the heart of the matter. My God. Um, Chihuahua worship is as old as the settlements that line the banks of the Kola River. That's the number of people gone missing in this area in the last six weeks. Yeah, Ginger, what do you think? I'm still very afraid to be here. The anger that I'm feeling is, is overwhelming. The Jenny Craig was a little too much for Ginger Garcia. She was committed to the psych ward at SF General. I was determined to come back that night and try to see this menace firsthand. I just see those eyes. I run at it. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite that fast before. Trees crashing in the background. When I get to within a 10 feet of that thing, it just disappears. There it is, I hear it. I can feel it. Escaping only with minor lacerations and no memory of my attack, I can conclude with saying, the ghost chihuahua, like the lady said, should just be left alone. This has been John Gates. I'm off to a new trail.